What's up everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. It's Tuesday for Torque Drift Tuesday. Back to back Torque Drift videos here on the channel with a new update. Today we're going to start building that RX-8. So make sure you follow me on all social media. Alright, so we are going to start building that RX-8. And I say that because we haven't gotten into it yet. We have started with the FC, but I feel like we should start working on this RX-8. Now, a quick way to do this is we do have six torque drift crates. So we're going to be buying ticks. We're going to be using the six torque drift crates and see what we got and see where we're at at the end of these six. Each torque drift crate containing three items. So maybe we'll get some big pulls with money or parts. What do we got? We got some field suspension off the rip. So that's definitely a pretty good pull off the rip. We do need good suspension in these cars. Let's see. We got some gold. We got a clutch and we got a turbo. So, so far, so good. We got some uh, import parts. Those are pretty decent parts. They're not, you know, aftermarket. We do already have the Charles NG car. So that's going to give us 200 grand to be able to spend some gold and some wheels which we'll probably throw those advans on there we've got three more crates so so far these crates are pulling some good stuff some money some more money and some neons so we're gonna be using all that a lot of that money in this car we have two more crates to open so we got some yellow neons that one not the greatest final torque drift crate for today for this we got some more Falcon tires, which we need those RT615s, and some more gold. So we got a lot of money, so let's go back to the garage. Let's go to parts. We're going to go to tune first. Edit that, and then we're going to throw on that aftermarket turbo, or that import turbo. Bump that boost all the way up to 11. Confirm, yes. And then let's go back firm and then we're gonna throw that clutch on there because well we got it so let's use it and then we did pull that really good field suspension which we're definitely gonna throw on this car because import suspension is a must with these cars and you know we got them to we'll throw them on there although I'm not a fan of the 20s I guess the factory size is 19s. We'll keep the factory 19s on there for now. So we got to go to the back. We did get two sets of neons, so we're just gonna throw the red ones on. Can barely see them, but they're there. And now we need to go into the rear and throw that field suspension in the rear. I think we're gonna leave it all how it is right now. There we go. And now let's go take a look at some parts and get some parts that we don't have. Hopefully we can get, we do have an angle kit. Do we have an import angle kit? No, no import angle kit. So we're going to go with as many of the import parts as we can. Or the aftermarket parts. I stand corrected and then we'll throw on all these parts. And we'll just go with the basic setup to begin with. I probably should have seen which uh, which you see you gave me more. Current, new, okay, probably would want to go with that one. But, nope, we're going to go with the Lynx. Should have double checked that before I bought everything. But, we'll go with that Lynx setup. We could throw another exhaust system on. We could throw the Arc Performance exhaust on. We can't instant buy that. So... I think that's where we're gonna sit right now don't want to upgrade engines we're gonna keep the factory engine in it right now so we're gonna go see what this car does and looks like we do have Irwindale FD and then we have FD Irwindale so we're gonna go to Long Beach we're gonna try it at Long Beach in a tandem then we may hit up an open lobby to end this episode off we're gonna keep those Nexons on there for right now so first rip in this car don't know how it's gonna handle but looks like we're going against an iPhone user in a 300 horsepower skyline if you guys did notice right there the game 
devs and Torchrift did get my account sorted with my actual Evil Rabbit name instead of Evil Rabbit 07. So if you see Evil Rabbit, they're also going to be giving me a custom tag where that golden is something else, something a little bit more special. So you guys will know it's really me in the open lobbies with the open lobbies being a big thing now. I want to make sure you guys know it's me. This car's so loud. Kick it in third. Set the throttle. There we go. Not half bad, actually. For a first rip out with just some mild parts. Oh, I should have downshifted in a second through that hairpin. So, first run with that. Not bad. This car's really loud. I'm going to turn the volume down so I don't kill headphone users. And it seems like he did not want to go. He decided to say that's a no. Didn't want to go. So we're going to try to find somebody else. I definitely like how that actually ran off the rip. It handled pretty good. Not a not a hard car to handle. I don't know if we're going to find anybody. Do I think this car will be able to handle Irwindale? I don't know if it can handle the bank. It might be able to rip that bank. I don't think we're finding anybody here at Long Beach anymore. Let's go back in the drifts and see. We will try Cali Banks. I'm not sure if it's going to work. If we can actually run Cali Banks. I didn't check the... Oh yeah, we can run Cali Banks. Unsure if this car will be able to handle the long bank here at Irwindale. Or if we'll be even able to find something to go against. We did... Another iPhone, 549 horsepower in that 14. So they got a little bit of update. They added the chicane, so that's cool. I haven't been here actually in a while. Let me kick this in third gear. Uh, it's struggling a little bit. Oh, it is struggling a little bit here on the bank. I should be clutch kicking it more than I actually am. So a little bit of a struggle on the bank. I think we needed probably going to fourth gear on the bank. Unfortunately, we didn't. So we definitely uh, got bested on that. So we're going to have to try and get a clean chase if possible. Yep, fourth gear on the bank would have been the money gear. Oh, that man kind of went into the wall a little bit harder than he probably anticipated. And kind of put me into the wall. Unfortunately, that is how things happen sometimes in the lower ranked races when people are still getting used to their cars. So we're going to try this again because the car can actually do it. I feel like this car can do the bank. Unfortunately, we did lose that one. Are you going to give me a rematch? Because I feel like I could take it. I don't think I'm going to get a Oh, I do get a rematch. All right. So fourth gear is what it's going to have to be. Throw it in. Kind of almost lost it there. Kind of had to reinitiate that. Kind of losing a little bit of power on that. Oh, down, I shifted. Transitioned way too early, unfortunately. But managed to somewhat collect the run a little bit. Not the cleanest of runs. Not the best of runs. Car, I don't think, has the right amount of setup to run that. And yeah, he ran way way cleaner of a run so GG to this man in that 14 bare, bare, basically bare bones 14 taking me to school here on Cali Banks oh I see what happened he ran he kind of did what I did, had to do a double initiate, but kept his clean run, and that's what gave him that advantage. So GG to him. We're going to go see if we can't find another 
course that might suit this car a little bit better than trying to, you know, run a massive bank line with a uh, not tuned car. When I say not tuned, I mean not fully suspension tuned yet. We didn't lose by much, but we did take a loss. So let's head back and see what other tracks we could run with this car. We could run the slab real quick. So let's hit the slab up before it changes, and then we'll see what it changes to possibly after the slab run. So for first run out with this RX-8, I like it. Handles pretty good for very mild tuning, very mild parts. So we're going to continue to increase the parts on this car. Those torque drift crates definitely came in clutch. I don't think we're going to find somebody. Sadly to say. It's not looking like it. So let's go hop and see in about raiding into a open lobby. See if there's any open lobbies open. That I could try and get some doors real quick. We do have eight people in that man line. Okay. Cali Banks. No collisions. It's a lot of uh, a lot of lobbies going on right now. All right, so we're gonna see what we can do here on the slab. See what these people are doing over here. Just a little wall tap on that man. Getting a little bit of audio glitch, it looks like. So, definitely going to be running my own lobbies and stuff here very shortly. A little bit of lag there. Going to be running my own lobbies and everything like that, so make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, which you found in the description box below, for more information about when lobbies and everything are going to be happening. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode here on Torque Drift. Back-to-back -to -back Torque Drift episodes for you guys today. And, oh, maybe thrown indoors now. So I hope to see you, some of you guys here on Torque Drift on, oh, in the open lobbies. And especially when I start doing the live streams again with live sessions and everything like that. Live drifting is very fun. So can't wait to get in some lobbies with a bunch of you guys. So as always, I want to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.